Hello, my name is Juan Pinero. I'm an extension dairy specialist with Texas A&M AgroLife Extension in Amarillo, Texas, and also an assistant professor for Texas A&M University Department of Animal Science. In the following series of videos, we will be talking about preventing diseases with a special focus on prevention of metritis. And this is as part of a funded project uh, from USDA NIFA with regards to antimicrobial stewardship. And preventive medicine plays a huge role since there's different incidence of uh, metritis in, in farm operations. And we can have as much as over 40% of metritis in a uh, few dairies and less than 4% in others. So with that, uh, we see that there's a lot of opportunity to have preventive management strategies in place to try to minimize the amount of, amount of metritis we, we have, and with that, minimize the amount of antimicrobial needed to treat those cases. When we think about preventive medicine and prevention of diseases, we need to first understand which factors are leading, leading to those diseases. Those are also known as risk factors. So for metritis, one of those factors can be heat stress in cows, since heat stress postpartum can lead to excess mobilization of fatty acids, which can lead to other metabolic diseases, such as fatty liver and ketosis, that may predispose to metritis. So in one of these series of videos, we will be visiting a cross-ventilated barn to talk about heat abatement technologies and best uh, management practices also on the line surface of these cows. Besides this exacerbated um, fatty acid mobilization leading to metabolic diseases and predisposing to metritis, also there are other metabolic diseases such as hypocalcemia that can lead to metritis and also micronutrient are very important such as uh, some vitamins, uh, vitamin E, minerals such as selenium are very important to prevent diseases that are associated with metritis such as retained placenta. Thus, in another series of videos, we will be visiting with a nutritionist from the Regional Dairy Center at Stephenville, Texas. On a different series of videos, we will be visiting with Dr. Machado talking about the definition of metritis, the diagnosis and the treatment. Damage or laceration of the birth canal, difficulty at birth or dystocia, um, among other calving related issues can also lead to metritis. Therefore, in another series of videos, we will be showing best calving management practices in order to prevent metritis. Lastly, we will talk about genetic selection and reproductive strategies to prevent difficulty uh, at birth or dystocia such as the use of sex semen um, that dairy farmers may be using and also selecting bulls for calving yeast. <music>